right, I've got one of the two deck boxes here from a 65-foot Alden motor sailor, Hawksbill. And I've taken it all apart and put it back together again and glued the corners back together and actually rebuilt it. And now I've surfaced it and I've got a number of coats of varnish on it already. I've prepped it up now for maybe one of the last coats that's going to go on it and I've actually sanded in between coats with 320 sandpaper and uh, I use it on a nice rubber block, sands it very nice and flat and then if there's any spots that I didn't get to they'd be a little shiny after you wipe it down and then what I'll do is I'll take a scotch brake pad and go over the whole surface again and make sure that I get a little scuffing in those shiny spots like that and then what I'll do is I'll wipe it down with alcohol in a rag and clean it up as nice as I can and then I'm going to use a tack rag after that so I can make sure that I get the last bits of dust or anything that's on there. I've got the thing in a dust free environment here and I've vacuumed the room and cleaned the walls and I'm going to actually roll and tip this varnish on here myself because these first five or six coats that I put on here I've actually done it with a brush so I had a little difficulty getting all the way around the box without having a run or, or any little problems like that and it really hasn't caused me any problems in the end but I've got it prepped up very nicely now for that last coat and I want to make sure that I can race around here nice and quickly and make sure that I don't get too much varnish in any one area which is what happens with a person who's not a professional varnisher. You have to concentrate on not getting too much varnish in this area and too little over here. So this area could possibly run or you could get dry spots over here. So the easiest way for me would be with a four inch foam roller. And what that's designed to do is to distribute it properly and then I'm gonna pick up a nice badger hairbrush and tip the varnish to make sure that it's got a nice texture to it and so that it'll flow out nice and flat. We're going to be using the new Total Boat Gleam Marine Spa Varnish. Now it comes in a gloss and a satin. We're going to be applying some of the gloss today. We've got a little paint pot that we're able to hang our little brushes on here. I've got a two inch badger hair brush here that's a little easier to handle if we're going around doing some of the details. And uh, so I'm just going to take a little feel in the bottom of the can here and just see what I feel. And I don't feel any sediment at all. So now I'm going to pour some through my strainer into my little paint pot here. And then we've got a strainer over here. We're going to strain the varnish through the strainer into this pot. Put it in the roller pan. We're going to apply the varnish with the roller actually. All right, I'm going to start out by doing this little detail at the top here where the top of the box fits down over the box. So we're just going to apply the varnish up here with a brush. You don't want it running down inside the box or running down the outside. I'm just going to go around the corner because I've got a little bit more varnish there than I want. I'm just going to tip that out a little bit smooth there. Transfer some around the corner. Alright, I've brushed out the details around the top of the box and now I'm going to start applying the varnish with a little foam roller here. And I'm going to start in this corner right here because this is the back of the box back here and I just want to finish up on the back corner rather than finish up on the front corner where it's more visible. All right, I'm first I'm just working at saturating this little roller here all the way around so one side of it isn't any heavier than the other because otherwise it doesn't want to balance itself properly. And there we go. So now we're going to go and apply some right to the box. I'm going to start right on the corner here. Roll some around that corner and then I'm going to start rolling back and forth across the whole surface so that I distribute the varnish evenly all the way across there. Now I'm going to roll it in another pattern, diagonally, like so. Now the roller creates little air bubbles and that's one of the reasons why we want to tip it out afterwards to knock down all the air bubbles. When you're rolling and tipping either paint or varnish, it's important to remember that you've got to keep moving. So we're going to apply the varnish as rapidly as possible with a roller and switch over to the tipping as soon as possible so that we can tip it while it's still nice and wet so that it flows out nice and flat and we won't have to return to those areas as it dries. So we're actually 
trying to decide how much varnish to apply as we go along. There's no set rule to it, it's just pretty much a feel. And you, know, you want it to feel the same under the roller as well as you want it to feel the same under the brush when you tip it so you don't have any real heavy spots and any real light spots and that's why I re-roll it a few times to try to redistribute that varnish so that you've got the same amount. The tipping's being done now on the front of the box with the badger hair brush and the idea is to tip from one end of the box all the way to the other so you don't have any stop marks in the middle or anything like that and uh, the distribution's been done in front of me with the roller so I don't have to move the varnish around very much. I'm just looking to flatten it out, knock the bubbles out of it. So I'm coordinating my vision with the height of the light so that I get a nice reflection off the varnish so that I can see exactly what I'm doing with the brush. I'm not doing it without being able to see the reflection of the light in the box. So this varnish is rolling on so well that on the front of the box, I only rolled a third of the box, but on this back of the box here, I've just rolled out half the length of the box with one roller full here, just like that. Now that would be pretty tricky to distribute that as evenly as that with a brush. You know, quite a bit of varnish squeezed out of the roller up here, so I'll just go pick that back up again and move it down. In this particular situation, we've rolled and tipped the varnish, and that was the method that we used because we wanted to cover as much ground as possible, as fast as possible, and get all the way around the box to the other end where we started without having the varnish gone off on us completely and have a tacky mess when we got there. So it was a fast and easy technique now, in other situations with more detail, you would just be applying the varnish with a brush. It can also be sprayed. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on rolling and tipping paints and varnishes in our upcoming videos.